Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and people that like out-of-the-park baseball. We're going to be talking to you today because, as you know, I have a 1994 White Sox playthrough in which we are in the 1996 offseason headed to the 1997 regular season. So where we are now is October 25th of 1996, which was five days after my birthday in 1996. My 20, no, 31st birthday would have been my 31st birthday. So um, anyway, um, we, uh, that's where we are, and I am going to see who we're, who we're going to get. I don't think we've gotten any new free agents yet. And again, I want to point out, I'm just the manager of the team. I am not the general manager because I don't like the general manager stuff that I got to do. It's just a big pain in my butt. As a matter of fact, I um, have a season that I'm doing as general manager to try to experiment and play around with it and try to get used to it and try to like it, but I'm still not there yet. So I am the manager of the White Sox. Um, we have a general manager who goes out and gets me players. And during the off season, I love that system. I got to tell you, I love it a lot. He is the one that goes out and trades players. He's the one that goes out and signs players. He's the one that has to deal with the owner and the budget and uh, has to deal with who he can sign under the budget. I don't have to do any of that. All I got to do is quick sim through, you know, or just keep jumping through the off season and eventually see who we have. The only time that it's a pain in my butt to be just the manager is during the season when I have players like, particularly in my bullpen, when I've got guys that are getting tired and I have a dogged bullpen and the general manager either doesn't bring any uh, fresh relievers up from the minor leagues or he brings up a guy I, I wouldn't want. Um, really, it's more so that there are times he just won't even bring somebody up from the minors. I mean, even somebody I, don't, I wouldn't normally like to see brought up is fine if he's fresh. So that's the only time it's a pain in the butt. Um, but every other time, even with injuries during the season, Somebody gets injured, he has to put the guy on IL, and he has to figure out who he's going to bring up from the minors. I would rather have him do that. So that's cool. Um, now, I know that if I were the general manager, I could even just designate all of those jobs to my assistant general manager. But then, you know, if you're just the general manager and you're not the manager and you're designating all of your work to an assistant general manager, you're really not doing anything. So at least here I am managing big swaths of games throughout the season and trying to win. So anyway, we will, um, uh, you know what, this vote for awards, I hate this. I hate voting for awards. I'm just going to, uh, I don't even want to, you know, let me see if I can just submit the ballot. No, ballot is not complete. All right, I'm just going to. I'm just going to fast forward through it. We're going to fast forward to this date, and we're going to see what we can do. Um, let me go to um, off-season center. I'm going to auto-play the next week. And then we're going to look at some of the news articles and see if I got anybody and if we did, who I got. Let me go to my manager's office. So let's see. Montreal and Detroit swapped uh, Floyd for Fryman. Um, batting stats, leaders, something like that. Single season records. Okay, so we're all caught up here. Let me go... Yeah, I definitely want to go through all that stuff. I'll, I'll tell you right now, I'm not an awards guy. I hate awards. I hate the real-life awards. I hate, hate, hate the awards. 
I don't care who the best player was, who the batting leader was. I don't, I don't just care about any of that stuff. Now, I know there's probably people out there saying, how can you not care about that stuff? Well, I don't. I don't know how. So, uh, let's see. Has decided to stay put. Okay, so Chris Hoyles is staying with the Orioles. We're not getting Chris Hoyles for sure. Um, let's go a little further. But anyway, I hate awards. I hate voting on them in games. I hate vote, voting on them in my strat leagues. And I hate them in real life. So, sorry. If, if that makes you mad, hey, great. All right, so free agency filings. Let's go to the day after the free agency filings and see what we can do. All right, I got a new personal message, and it looks like my inbox is full now. The commissioner's office has informed you that Luis Aquino has declined arbitration. He becomes a free agent. Okay. Um, let's see. Julio Franco files for free agency. Okay, he's getting old anyway, so, I mean, sooner or later we're going to have to deal without him anyway. The commissioner's office is informing you, Ozzy Guillen has declined arbitration. See, my general manager has to deal with all these problems. I don't have to. Ron Karkovice has declined. <laughs> if there is any guy who should not be declining arbitration, it's Ron Karkovice. But anyway. Um, the commissioner's office, Ellis Burks, has declined arbitration. He becomes a free agent. And uh, Darren Jackson has declined arbitration. He becomes a free agent. See, my owner's got to deal with all these problems. I don't have to. Mark Lemke declined arbitration. Uh, Alex Fernandez has declined <laughs> arbitration. I, You know, I frankly, I don't know who I'm going to have. But you can see... You can see my point here. He, the AI, the GM, he has to come up with a roster for me. I don't have to do that. I don't have to deal with these headaches. So, all right. So let's go. We can't skip too much at a time because um, I want to make sure that I know when we get somebody. Uh, Mark Aker? Okay, I don't know. Anyway, let's go... Do, 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 do. Hall of Fame voting begins. I don't want to be part of that. Um, winter meetings start. Let's go to the day after the winter meetings. So we're going to be zooming ahead here. Carlos Baerga. The signing of Carlos Baerga results in the following compensations. We got Carlos Baerga? Man! I don't even, don't even get me started on that. I mean, I love that idea. So, uh, let's see. Uh, St. Louis traded somebody. Probably not to us, though. Um, career pitching leaders, Los Angeles, um, Brown, Adam Harper, Adam Harper. Okay. All right. So our fans are ecstatic that you signed Carlos Baerga. Yeah. Not only my fans, but me. Now, of course, we had like 18 guys leave, so it's got to be more than just Bayerga. Bayerga reaches an agreement with us. Now, so now, let's recap. We have Frank Thomas, we have Carlos Bayerga, we have Ken Griffey Jr. Ah, man. That's, that's, that's a, man. That's a great team. <laughs> uh, so, let's see. Winter meetings. Oh, wait, yeah. We, we still didn't get past the winter meetings. Because that um, message interrupted me getting there. Todd Hundley. We signed Todd Hundley. Man, he is doing great. This, and that's another thing. The computer knows exactly what it's doing. I don't. As a general manager, I just don't. I like managing games. Um, okay.
Yeah, Todd Hundley, man. Let's look at see what Todd Hundley's doing. Um, last year in 96 in Out of the Park, he... Um, let me see. Let's move me up here so we can see what he did. He hit 238. All right, maybe I'm not that excited about it. Although he's better than Karkovice and and uh, and Pratt. Um, the year before that, he hit 273. The year before that, 231. All right. Well, okay, maybe it's not so great that we're doing that. But anyway, let's go back to the let's go back to the office here and see what else we've got like to inform you we've made some moves that involve your team. Todd Hundley is signed as a free agent. We knew that. Todd Hundley agrees to terms. And Olerud is signed with the A's. So we're not getting him. So let's go. Let's move it, move it, move it. Raw hide. Move him up. Oh, man, another personal message interrupting me. We got Dante Bichette. All right. Man. We got Dante Bichette. We got Jeff Brantley. And we got Bruce Ruffin. <laughs> man, we're taking off. Yeah, we better win now. Dante Bichette. Bruce, two minutes for roughing. All right. So I can't even wait to see what else he comes up with. If he comes up with nothing else, he's done a pretty good job. Meetings end, New York lottery for Plunk. Um, the rich guys. Thomas is making the third most of anybody in our league. Minnesota and New York do a swap. Angels, White Sox close the deal. Anaheim and Chicago have done a swap. 24-year-old right-handed pitcher. Jonathan Giordano and 22-year-old minor league right-handed pitcher Ramon Moore being shipped to the White Sox. In return, the Angels will get Roberto Hernandez. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, Roberto Hernandez, he was okay for us, but I'm happy to see him go. Well, I'm okay with seeing him go. All right, so let's... Rule 5 draft, again, the GM can take care of that. I want to go, I'm going to try to get to the end of January, or let's go to January 16th, but we're not even going to get there. Received Murado from, yeah. I don't know why he tells me who I've got, who I received, to the minor or to the major league roster or between the minor and major league rosters in the off season. I don't really care. Uh, let's see. Yep. All right. So anyway, um, yeah. See, we didn't even get out of December. I'm gonna try to get right to that date. Nope. Nope. These messages keep interrupting me. Uh, Tom, let's see, Tom Edens, all right. Let's see if we can get to the 15th of January. Can you just get me to the 15th of January? I just want to get there. I don't really, I don't almost care unless, let's see, received Chris Carpenter. Well, all right, nice. Gomez lands with the Rangers. Um, Kansas City deals Meacham to the uh, Expos. Um, Jackson. Avery signs with Toronto. All right, he signed Chris Carpenter. 
Let's see. Yeah, it's the Chris Carpenter I'm thinking of. And he had a 132 whip last season and a um, and a 375 earned run average. And he's probably going to be considered a relief pitcher, although I'm the manager, I could make him a starter, which is what he really was. Um, but we'll see. I don't know if I'll do that. Swap confirmed. We're okay. We're all up, up to. Uh, we're doing okay. Trying to get through January. I mean, as he does less, as he as he makes fewer deals, that'll involve me less. Detroit, Los Angeles deal. Swap to Kansas City, Houston, Milwaukee, make a deal. Seattle, Hall of Fame voting results, which I don't care about. We've already established that. Let's try to get to the uh, start of February. I'm trying. What I'm trying to do in this episode is get us to the regular season, to the start right before the start of the regular season. Uh, okay, a swap, split leaders, active career batting leaders, Cedeno, okay, White Sox trade play. St. Louis and Chicago made a swap. Um, Cardinals, 30-year-old right-handed pitcher, Rene Arosha, and the White Sox, 25-year-old center field, Jermaine Allensworth. I liked Allensworth, man. All right, well... Boggs agrees to three-year deal with the, uh, it looks like, the Dodgers. We are at the start of February. I'm going to try to get to March 1st, but I'm probably not going to make it without him giving me a, some kind of update. Yeah. Received Vinny Castillo. I didn't even know we had him. All right, we got a swap. Officials from Chicago confirmed that 29-year-old Todd Pratt has been sent to Cleveland. In return, the White Sox will receive Mark Lewis and Greg Shell. Man, my GM is going. He's he's burning the midnight oil here. You got to love it. All right, so where are we? February 17th. See, we didn't really even get close to Mark. I'm going to try to get to March 1st here. Nope. Okay, willing to resume talks. Don't really care. Let's try to get to March 1st. Okay, Murado, Cincinnati, Houston deal confirmed. Trying, still trying to get to March 1st or 2nd or somewhere in that territory. All right, let's see what happened here, or let's see what happened. Okay, nothing really that concerns me too much. All right, we are in March, good. Um, preseason begins. You know what? I'm going to stop this episode with the preseason starting. So we're going to get, I'm going to go right up to the day before the preseason. We'll see what happens. Um, okay. Okay. Today, no games. All right. So, all right. So, we're at the point where I think the preseason's going to start and I can make my preseason lineups if I want to, whatever. Um, we'll just take a look at the roster, I suppose. Um, rosters and transactions. Yeah. And so you can see we have uh, Wilson Alvarez. Let's go. Let's just look at this at the pitching. Let's look at the starting rotation. You got Alvarez, Beret, Miranda, and McDowell. 
and I have to put one of those one of these guys into the starting rotation. And I can do that with Chris Carpenter. And I might just do that. I think I'm going to try to do Chris Carpenter as our fifth starter. So that would be our that looks like a a decent rotation. Um, let me see if Chris Carpenter is listed as a starting pitcher. Um, see, it says expectation bullpen, but, I mean, that may not necessarily happen. Um, uh, but I'll look at it. I'll take a look at it. Um, let's go to White Sox. Um lineups and depth charts and you know we'll have to fill this in but we've got uh, let's see who we have Todd Hundley Jim Weaver as our backup wasn't very good Kyle Fletcher first baseman Thomas Bayerga Castillo Mark Lewis Dustin Livingston Ryan Maloney Almedo Sens Ventura Tom Man. Bichette, Austin, Talbot. Yeah, this is this is going to be a good team. I think this will be a pretty good team. But anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. And um, you're going to have to tune in next time. Now, I'm probably going to, the next time, it's probably going to be the start of the regular season. I'm going to zip through the preseason. I'm going to figure out who should be starting, who uh, should be in the rotation, who I'll put in the bullpen. He'll probably decide different guys to be on the active roster than are on it right now. So the next episode will be the start of the regular season, and I will get through the preseason. So that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.